Welcome back. In this session, we are going to work on our modern art painting based on Robert Delaney's painting style. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about starting painting the greens, yellow greens, blue greens, and cool blues. We're going to remind you that you're using repetition and balance and that our overall skill goal goals are mixing the paint in the uh, mixing pan here and using wet on wet mixing as well as glazing which we'll use in a later video. Don't forget to use rep repetition of colors, evenly balance those colors and try to create unity by balancing those colors. Now as we start here you can see where we left off with our yellows, our warm yellows, our warm red and our cool red. Now I've taken some cool yellow and some cool blue and I've started mixing some greens. These greens I'm going to start filling in all the way around my picture and try to evenly balance them. Again remember to stay within the confines of those geometric shapes that you've um, previously outlined and also remember to change the colors that you're using. Mix a little bit more yellow in for a yellow green, mix a little blue in for a bluer green, and try to balance those colors so that you can pull the eye from one side to the other. As you can see here, I'm uh, leaving some parts still white uh, of, of the paper so that I can you know, make them blue or even make them into neutralized colors or glaze over them at a later date. So <coughs> as I progress through this process you can see here I start to go over some of my yellows. I take this green and put it right over the top of this yellow section here. This will give you yet a different kind of green. That is called glazing. That's when we've got those light yellows underneath and we start overlapping the color on top of the colors you already have. So as I work through, I place these greens through. Notice how I'm being careful. My one hand here resting on the table is supporting my other hand, my painting hand. Um, and I'm being careful, holding my brush straight up and down to use the tip finely. Um, and then where I need to, pressing down a little harder to uh, splay the bristles out to get the right edge on a shape or a color next to somewhere maybe that has no color yet. All right. Now again, as you, as you continue this, make sure that you control your water, making sure you keep your water clean, making sure there's not too much water on the brush or not enough water on the brush, but just the right amount, and that you're staying within the predetermined shapes that you created while we were setting up our composition. If for some reason you need to change those, really, really think about it beforehand because you want to make sure that you are changing them for a good reason, not just changing them because you're uh, being lazy. All right. Now, as we switch um, into our next section here, we've got the greens finished and we want to uh, start putting in blue, bluish greens and blues. So I take this whole section here and I mix up a bluish green and paint right over. You can see here in this area where I'm painting over the red, it's going to change that blue to a different color altogether. All right. And here you can see where I'm next to the green, it started running together wet on wet, which I will eventually end up fixing and going back to uh, manage. But you can see that I, I take the time to mix here and again like always I'm creating a variety of different colors that I want within my picture and I'm trying to again evenly place them throughout the picture so I can um, draw the eye of the viewer here and there and everywhere okay and here you can see I'm following this horizontally sort of diagonal line here and breaking up this interior circle. Now, as you continue, uh, you can work into your violets um, if you need to. If you start running out of, of places to put your blues and your greens and you'd like to start doing some violets, uh, work that cool blue and the, sorry, the warm blue and the cool red together to make your violets just like you did on your um, color mixing wheel and decide where you're going to place those. Evenly place them throughout the picture. Again, wherever you're glazing over a color, like this blue that I'm glazing over here, that color will change. This blue was exactly the same in this section and on top of this yellow, and it's changed now in both of those areas because of the glazing that we've been doing. All right. 
Here I'm getting a little more detailed, but then I take this violet color, overlap it over that whole green section, and again, that color changes. This glazing technique, you can get a nice, rich variety of colors that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get if you were mixing all of these in your mixing pan. So um, that being said, try to fill the rest of those shapes in. Try to get as many as you can filled in and maybe leave only one or two sections really that are going to be without color. You can see I've left one here and here and here and here and I'm going to come back and start finishing those sections off and glazing over larger sections when I return in the next video. So again for this video you are working on your Robert Delaney Orphism watercolor painting and you're trying to get to this stage where you've got mostly all of your painting done and we're ready for the final section of glazing and overlapping and fine-tuning our modern art painting.